Ariel Hawani in Detroit getting set for UFC 218 alongside Francis Ngannou who meets Alistair Overeem this Saturday live on pay-per-view. Francis, I feel like it's been so long since we've seen you actually fight. We see you do so much training, commercials, body armor, but we don't actually get to see you fight. What's it like for you? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah there we go. Very <laughs> smart. You got to get that money. But you're actually getting ready to fight. It's been almost a year. What does it feel like? Uh, very exciting. I mean, he was like f uh, very frustrated to to be in some time uh, have a fight canceled like uh, again junior. But now that is the past, and now we we have something coming up in uh, just today. So I'm really excited to be into the uh, in the autogun. I know you're relatively new to MMA, but is Alistair a guy who you watched when you were getting into the sport and said, "Oh, I'd like to fight him one day"? Um, Yes, I, I, I said that when I uh, have my when I had my UFC contract. I said I would want to fight him one day. Mm. Do you think that he's gotten better, or is he the same old Alistair over him? No, he get very better because of, um, he was uh, he was just like strong fight, but now he, he has a very smart fight. Mm. You know, game plan try to control the fight and win. Very smart, yes. Do you think the UFC wants you to win this fight? They seem to have a lot invested think, in you. I think UFC want the best to win because uh, if everyone uh, win the fight, I mean, they will not take the victory for someone because they don't want you to win. Mm. You know, everyone who deserve it will win. Uh, uh, why, why uh, they put us together? Mm. Because that uh, everyone can win. You know, uh, we both have we both have a chance to to win the fight. And then when you win the fight, you win the fight. Have you been told that if you win this fight, you're getting a title shot? Yes, I really, I, I really believe that. But did they tell that to you? No, uh, no. He said that he was told that. He said what? That he was told that if he wins this fight, he gets a title shot. He said what? He said that if he beats you, he gets a title shot. That's what he was told. If he beat me, he will get a title shot? Yeah. Yes. But for me, they don't tell me that. They don't tell you no, not yet. You expect that? I mean, yes, I expect that. And I think it's like a legit man. Like the way we are is like legit man. You know, um, I'm, I'm the contender number four. And then. Uh, ahead, I just have like uh, Alistair Verdum and uh, Ken. Ken is injury, so it's like they can consider it like out. Mm -hmm. So uh, Verdum and Alistair fought uh, Stipe already, and then if I win uh, Alistair, I'll probably become the, become the contender number one uh, without fight Stipe already. So there are no match, right. no best match up possible uh, than that one. Dana White likes to say that you're like a neighbor of his because you're at the UFC offices all the time. You're at the performance at You did essentially this entire camp there. What was it like? It was good. You know, I moved from Paris to, to Vegas seven months ago. And then um, the, in this, uh, a lot of time in this case, the most difficult thing is to find a gym. And then someone just go through their, their surf somewhere, uh, even if they don't like, just because they need the gym. And then um, I really take the performance to, to, as something who who help me to, to, to lay down, to lay over, and then really check about what I want, and then to make sure really when, you know, when I, uh, if I chose some uh, gym, you'll be like the one that I, I want to go, not just because I, came to Vegas and I just find somewhere sure, to sure. train. Do you have yeah. any coaches from the gym who will be cornering you? No, 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 not from the gym. You know, the Performance Institute is just some uh, something for the fighter, for all the fighters. So it's not something who they can, you, you can take some coach there. Okay. So I still have my coach, Fernand Lopez, and I have the Wee Pooper who helped me um, with striking. And uh, I'll have uh, Jerome Lebanet in my corner. Too. Oh, cool. And, and, and by the way, you just met Anderson Silva at a restaurant in Los Angeles. What do you make of Anderson Silva? He's kind of involved in some issues right now. Was that something that excited you, or uh, do you feel a little strange about him? You know, he was just uh, provisionally suspended by USADA. 
You mean what is something who... Uh, How do you feel about Anderson? Do you feel like his, his legacy, like when you saw him, I mean, it's, it's a little different now with him, right? Yes, I mean, um, whatever is it, you cannot take, you cannot take that uh, Anderson Silva is a legend. Mm -hmm. he, he, made, he made a name uh, in this sport. Mm -hmm. He's a legend. And then something, uh, now we have this news talking about him. Uh, we, are not, we are not even sure. I mean, we don't, we don't know what's going on, but I'm, I'm, I will not involve in that, sure. in that. I know he's a great fighter. He's been a great fighter for a long time and then get a title a defense for a long time than, most, than many other fighters. So I'm just uh, happy to meet the man. Okay. But I mean, he he custom he habit that is his life. Mm -hmm. You know, he do whatever he want. I'll meet everyone. I'll you probably meet someone uh, every kind of person in your life. But not be in, just don't be involved in that business. Do do what you're doing. Well, it's good to see you, and the hair is looking fantastic. It really is. It's looking great. I look forward to seeing you in action. I look forward to seeing the suit afterwards. you got something special, I'm sure, for us. This is one of the most anticipated fights in recent memory in the I heavyweight division. Special. All right, I can't wait. Good to see you. Bon courage. Merci. Merci, Ariel.